The BBC has been flooded with complaints after raising a stink in public eyes with their discussed documentary. Prince William and Prince Harry's relationship with the media was laid bare by the new BBC documentary, The Princes and the Press. The two-parter examined the relationship between the brothers and the media. However, the BBC faced more than 150 complaints from viewers who claimed the documentary was disrespectful to the royal family. Many of the complaints said the programme should not have been aired. The BBC publishes such responses when it has received more than 100 complaints about a show. Ahead of the second part, which aired on Monday, William and other senior royals hit out at the corporation in a furious joint statement. Kensington Palace, Clarence House and Buckingham Palace accused the broadcaster of giving airtime to overblown and unfounded claims. The statement shown at the end of programme from the royal household said, A free, responsible and open press is of vital importance to a healthy democracy. However, too often it is overblown and unfounded claims from unnamed sources that are presented as facts and it is disappointing when anyone, including the BBC, gives them credibility. In a statement, the BBC defended the documentary and said, the princes and the press explored the relationship between the media and the monarchy, focusing on the younger royals. It included interviews with a range of print and broadcast reporters who follow the royals closely. The statement added, we conducted more than 80 hours of interviews and sought views from a wide variety of contributors. This included approaches to Buckingham Palace, Kensington Palace and Clarence House for comment or for a representative to be interviewed for this series. A joint statement issued by them was included in both programs. In a second tweet, he said, I would like to say sorry for any offence they caused then or now. I'm completely committed to impartiality and hope our recent programs can be judged on their merits. But the apology has sparked a furious response on social media with anti-monarchy campaign group, Republic, tweeting, If you're referring to comments about the royals, you really shouldn't apologise. You've every right to say those things and can remain an impartial journalist. Republic's chief executive Graham Smith told Express.co.uk, It's perfectly reasonable to make critical comments about the royals. There is nothing to say he can't be an impartial journalist. A lot of BBC journalists express their support for the monarchy and they don't have to apologise for that. It's fairly routine that they join in with celebrations of weddings and jubilees and make comments about how wonderful the royals are so it has to be okay for someone to make comments against the royals. Mr Smith added that impartiality is not about not having an opinion, but doing a job properly and in a way which is not partial. He said, everyone has an opinion on things. Among his criticism of the Windsors as editor of The Independent, Mr Rajan described senior royals as old buffoons who missed the 20th century and others as young toffs. In the February 2013 opinion piece, he added, This would be fine if those buffoons and toffs were left to go about their silly business, but the trouble is, when the mask slips far enough, what is exposed is the emotional infancy of a people too scared to elect their head of state. A 2012 article includes the line, Hereditary monarchies, always and everywhere, are vehicles for conservatism and aristocracy masquerading as benevolence and patriotism. True patriots know they stink. An open letter published following an announcement the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were expecting their first child saw Mr. Rajan state, Your eminent parenthood is of course the perfect moment for you to renounce the luxuries of royal patronage and aristocracy, in favour of the middle-class normality that most of your fellow compatriots enjoy. His apology comes after BBC Director General, Tim Davey, threatened to remove staff from Twitter if they failed to adhere to new guidelines laid down by the broadcaster. In a Parliament Select Committee session, Mr Davey said, Enforcement policies will be very clear. We will be able to take disciplinary action. We will be able to take people off Twitter. The documentary was hosted by Amol Rajan who has also faced backlash after making a groveling apology for rude and immature comments made about the royal family. In an open letter to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge after they announced they were expecting their first child in December 2012, Mr Rajan called on the couple to renounce the luxuries of royal patronage and aristocracy as he described their public role as a total fraud. In another column on the Diamond Jubilee in January 2012, Mr. Arjan accused the Duke of Edinburgh of being a racist buffoon and described Prince Charles as scientifically illiterate. The Republican BBC media editor said sorry for foolish commentary from a former life. He tweeted, I want to say I deeply regret it. I wrote things that were rude and immature and I look back on them now with real embarrassment, and ask myself what I was thinking, frankly.
In a second tweet, he said, I would like to say sorry for any offense they caused then or now. I'm completely committed to impartiality and hope our recent programs can be judged on their merits. A BBC spokesman said, this article predates Samuel's work at the BBC. Once journalists join the BBC, they leave past views at the door. Amol is an experienced BBC journalist who reports on all of the topics he covers in an impartial way and in line with the BBC's editorial guidelines. All BBC current affairs output is required to be impartial. wide variety of contributors. This included approaches to Buckingham Palace, Kensington Palace and Clarence House for comment or for a representative to be interviewed for this series. A joint statement issued by them was included in both programs. In a second tweet, he said, I would like to say sorry for any offense they caused then or now. I'm completely committed to impartiality and hope our recent programs can be judged on their merits. But the apology has sparked a furious response on social media with anti-monarchy campaign group, Republic, tweeting, If you're referring to comments about the royals, you really shouldn't apologize. You've every right to say those things and can remain an impartial journalist. Republic's chief executive Graham Smith told Express.co.uk, It's perfectly reasonable to make critical comments.